Gibbo, we head to the Athletic Ground tomorrow for the round six in the BNI. Looking forward to it? Yeah, looking forward to it. Um, we played them in the league and we had probably our best 40 minute performance in the first half. Um, I think as a team and a coaching group, we're quite a bit disappointed in the second half. So we're looking tomorrow to go and build on that. Uh, we've, already, we've already played Richmond three times this year. What can we take out of that? Um, they're a team that don't give up, they go to the end. Like we showed here in the league, even when we're 40 nil up, they'll still come back out and play against us. So we've got to stick in and hopefully put an 80 minute performance together. Obviously a very pleasing win against Connacht last weekend. Are confidence levels high at the moment? Um, I think all season we've been trying to keep the momentum going. And I think the win last week against Connacht and we're trying to get the number one seed in the group. I think it's a good platform for us to build on for this week. Yeah, it's obviously been five wins from five in the BNI. We've played some of our best rugby in it. Any particular reason why do you think? Um, I think a lot of boys got a few chances. Um, a lot of boys got a few chances, and well, not really. I just think we've just been playing well as a team, and being nice been when we've been clicking together as a team properly, and a lot of our shape's been coming off, and we've been looking our best. Sure. Um, obviously, as as I've already mentioned, we played Richmond a few times. It's another local derby. A bit more of an edge to it, perhaps. Um, yeah, they always do. Local derbies always have an edge to them. When we play the teams like Scottish, which we have got next week, and Richmond, um, you always want to beat the local teams closest to you and around you. And we've, we, as I said, as I said previously, five wins from five. I think another bonus point win would pretty much guarantee us this top seed, which would be uh, obviously very beneficial. So I guess that's the aim tomorrow. Yeah, I think for any team, I think you want to get the top seeds. You want to be the best you can be, and I think that's our aim. So hopefully, go out tomorrow and we can produce that. It was only a few changes last weekend, again only a little little tinkering with the squad. Is it quite good to get a bit of consistency? Um, yeah, with myself it's been good to start last week and this week. It just gives the boys a bit of confidence and hopefully going into the league games, uh, confidence the boys will be flying high and we can push on from there. Are you pleased with your personal performances recently? Yeah, to start with you're always a bit scratchy coming back into it but then as things get going the ball gets rolling you soon get into the swing of things and you're Feel good, yeah. And you're, you're starting in the front row alongside uh, Alan Walker and Mark Tampin tomorrow, so uh, yeah. I guess you'll be looking forward to looking to get as much go forward ball as you can. Yeah, with Tamps and Lunny, um, the good scrimmages as well. So that's what we want to do: produce a good platform for the backs, and we've we've got the backs that can <coughs> score the score the good tries as we've seen over the last few weeks. Yeah, the set piece has been a real strong point this season, hasn't it? Yeah, for us, it's a lot of um, we do a lot of training on it. It's a main focus of ours as a forward pack, which it should be for any forward pack. Um, we concentrate a lot on the little details and everything which make a massive impact on the weekend.